normally there's a lot of agenda with experience. There's a lot of resistance or projection, referring to the past, comparing, evaluating, judging. That's the realm of thoughts. But here we are suggesting uh, a quality of allowing of being present with experience that's of another order. And it's right here, it's, it's right now, it's very familiar because it's natural. The manipulating of experience via thought isn't so natural. That's a conditioned habit. but the kind of simply welcoming experience right now and right now and seamlessly every moment that that welcoming is is inherent to life it's inherent to what we are so See if you can taste that. See if you can taste yourself as that. A quality, I want to say, of silence. And a quality of of deep friendship towards experience. Intimacy, perhaps, is a better word. Postponing conceptual knowledge or agendas. not knowing anything. Yet, welcoming everything. And so the mind can be exactly as it is. The mind doesn't have to come to silence. And the body can be as it is. It doesn't have to relax or change in any way.
the world can be as it is, the sounds come and go, and temperatures, whatever has been perceived as the world. This shrine is uh, borderless. Everything is included. And this shrine in a way is, I wanna say, dark, but not a dark that's scary, rather the darkness of the womb that gives birth to whatever arises. So you can feel that everything that is experienced is, is, is made out of you, is rising out of you. The sound of this voice, the movement of the breath, And again, what I'm pointing towards is, is nothing, nothing lofty and spiritual. It's, it's our experience. It's just that we overlook it. So don't worry if you can't quite find it immediately. Just let the words kind of wash over you and perhaps evoke something that resonates. And now very gently without shifting really, bringing our attention to the experience that we call the body. But don't bring any knowledge, concept, or memory. Just, just listening to this realm, we could say, of, of sensations and feelings, pulsations, tensions, densities, transparency, the whole range of experience that refers but remain as the shrine meaning be open to the possibility that you i don't live inside a body that would be the envelope to myself that was that would sign my beginning and my end that would define my shape don't, don't bring that feeling here leave that at the door of the shrine rather feel that the body rises out of me, I'm the shrine, I'm the openness. I am that, whatever that is, that is tasting the body moment by moment. That gives the body much more freedom to, to be itself. It doesn't have to conform, it doesn't have to perform. It doesn't have to somehow confirm the past or announce the future. It's just innocent. Let the body be innocent right this moment. 
Feel the feet where they meet the earth. Is it a friendly meeting or is it a battle? Feel where the pelvis meets the chair, the cushion, and how the legs surrender to gravity. Just let the words fade and pave the way for raw living experience. But notice the habit of holding weight because it's a very common way that I assert myself as a body. In this moment, be open to the fact that I am weightless. I am borderless. Pure openness. So I can relieve the body of having to densify me or weight me down. So feel that the pelvis and the legs, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, the feet, the heels, soles, toes, every little micro sensation, the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the palms, the tops of the hands, the fingers, and where they touch, what they touch, that it's allowed to kind of melt. Take time, don't make it happen, but at the same time, allow it to happen, meaning be very present on a tactile level, saying, yes, yes, you're welcome. Look, there's so much space all around you, body. Again, I don't live in the body. The body lives in me. And I am openness itself. Feel your face and don't know anything about your face. Just feel it as it is, the mask. The eyes, feel the eyeballs, the forehead, top of the head. No judging. No attempts to change anything more. It's more like a, a listening, as if the sensations were music. But no agenda with the music. Feel the temples, the cheeks, the cheekbones. Feel the lips, upper lip, lower lip. Very sensuous, very tactile. The chin, space between the lower lip and the chin, the ears, feel inside the mouth, the teeth, the gum, pulsation tensions, feel the temperature on the skin of the face, tiny hairs on the cheeks, where they touch the space all around. Again, letting this face come to life. And liberating the face from any obligations to be the place that represents me. Let the face dance in me. Me, I'm the openness. And the face, it's just this amazing, lively unraveling of sensation. Maybe. 
what's happening in the arms and the legs. In the joints, feel the articulations, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists. Feel the hips, the knees, the ankles. The possibility of planting little seeds of space in the articulations of the body, not just the ones I named, but also all the minute articulations. Just evoke that possibility with your tactile intelligence and then see what happens. Planting space, little seeds of space in the vertebrae. And you may not feel anything or you may feel more tension than before we began or more discomfort. So be very, very patient, very gentle. When we begin to listen to the body in this way, it starts to relax and in, in, it's like a thawing process. Thawing can be painful. Be very, very courageous in a way and remember that everything that appears as the body, attention or contraction, it's, it's surrounded with friendliness. All around it is a kind of field of infinite welcoming. So anytime you feel a difficulty, a tactile difficulty, don't go into thinking, but rather go deeper into tactility, but with this quality of friendliness. Like a field, a, a, an immense field of friendliness, of tactile friendliness that can bathe anything that needs it. And in this way, little creatures that were hiding deep inside the body or hiding in, in the shoulders, in the jaw, in the, in the heart, chest area, that were curled up in the hips, in the teeth, behind the eyes, they, they may begin to surface layers and we we don't do anything with these layers but we certainly welcome them so simple really 